Hang on, let's play this. Let's play. Hi, my name is Kimi and welcome to another video. If you'd like to see more videos about climbing, training for climbing, climbing destinations all over Switzerland and any other adventures that I do, then consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Today, I'm going to show you how I managed to climb my first 6B plus boulder outdoors. I will walk you through the entire process and show you the beta of how I did it. And if you know this problem and you haven't sent it yet, hopefully this video will inspire you to finally finish it. And if you already sent the problem, please stay until the end because I need your help. I think that I may have finished the boulder in a wrong way, so you have to watch until the end because I need to know if I climbed a 6B plus boulder or I may have accidentally made it a grade harder. Let's jump right into the video. Alright, so this is Comedy Club. In my opinion, this is the type of boulder problem that requires precise footwork, super strong fingers and powerful core for me to stay on the wall and complete the entire traverse to the other side. And endurance. Oh yes, you'll see. It is a stand start and I have to hold the edge with my right hand and press my left thumb on a tiny pebble to maintain balance. I have to put my weight on my feet and let them do the hard work so I can switch hand positions as I go. I don't know though if you can see here, but there's only enough space for the tips of my index and middle fingers on these holds. That's why I find it easier to stay low, engage my core and let my feet work so I don't have to put too much weight and pressure on my fingers. One random move will disrupt my balance and I'd have to start all over again. I don't want that. Okay, so this is now the crux part for me. I spent a lot of time figuring out this move. So from here, my arms are wide apart, so I need to move my right hand closer so that I can readjust my body to lean more towards to the left. But I find it easier to do that if I outside flag with my right foot first before moving my right hand. That really allowed me to keep a tight core and have a more center balance. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how I train my core despite my busy schedule, I'm putting a link above or in the description box below if you want to check it out later. Okay, now I'm pushing myself while pulling on this tiny undercoat. Then switch feet back with my left foot before placing my two fingers on a side pull up there. Then catch the best hold there is on this side of the wall so far. From this part, all I gotta do is to get over the other foothold where my left foot is on isn't the best but it's the best there is so just trust your feet put your weight on it and it'll hold Okay, once I've got over to the other side, it's all about slab climbing now. So again, I gotta work more with my feet here until I reach the crack section where I can finally rest my feet a little. In my previous video, you'll see me traversing this part of a boulder doing a 6A problem. I'll insert the name over here, I kind of forgot it. So that was actually six months ago. And honestly, I can see an improvement on my movement right now compared to before. I definitely and finally learned how to climb with my feet and that's real progress for me. Oh yeah, if you wanna watch it too, link above or in the description down below. Okay, so now this is now the crack section. From there, I'm already studying the next beta because again, I need to know exactly where to place my feet and hands and all the switching moves in between so that I don't lose power or get out of balance. Yeah. 
yep okay i'm sorry about the angle on this on this one but this is now the part where i think i made a mistake Please tell me, is this a let to exit the comedy club? Did you top out on this section too? Or did you go farther like me towards the left? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Let's move on. So I decided to keep traversing to the left side here, as I said. This is now the third phase of the boulder where I almost fell a couple of times. I think the biggest challenge I had in this section was really trying to remember the beta I did earlier. I totally forgot where to place my feet and where the holes are. And honestly, I am slowly losing blood supply on my forearm, holding on for so long. And my toes are also aching now because I've used it a lot since the beginning. I was also slightly getting worried and annoyed here because if i don't finish this i will start all over again okay quick request you guys if you're enjoying watching this video so far please do give this video a like and a share it to anyone who has done it or to someone who's currently doing the project okay now i stopped trying to remember what i did earlier and focus my energy more on just doing it i reach this pocket hold with my left hand bring my body to the left found a crimp hold for my right hand and that allowed my left hand to switch its hand's position to be more stable on my feet. Then I found a negative side pull where I can place my thumb and move my right hand to the pocket. Move my feet closer, then to the crimp hold. It wasn't good but it's enough to maintain balance while I move my feet. Yes, then finally, oh a better God. hold on the crack. It wasn't easy then, to see it because like, it also kind of ah! slopish from the angle where I'm at, but it's a good hold. Ah! Right now, I am improvising all of my moves because I'm really, really tired. I was also a bit annoyed of Albi here for not helping me. I thought I shouted at him, but it doesn't sound like Almost it. Shave your arm. I need a right foot. Please, I need a nice right foot hold. Because my hands are shaking. Right foot, oh my god. I thought they're gonna coach me. My brain is thinking so fast now and I'm committing to anything I can hold or place my feet on. And finally, I reach the ledge and I'm done. Good. Well, that's it. That's how I climbed my first 6B plus boulder in Murtal. I enjoyed working this problem out and I will cherish every painful moment I had with it. Again, let me know how you topped out on this boulder. The grade really doesn't matter for me. I just really want to know whether I topped out on the right end or not. That's all that's bothering me. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a like, share, and subscribe to see more climbing-related content. Till next time, keep climbing, keep adventuring, and I'll see you on my next climb. Cheers!